Hi guys, I am Randy. And I'm Ellen, we're We Game Together. And this is the Dice Tower Winter Spectacular. Spectacular! It is very spectacular. And we are talking about our top 10 games of 2020. 2020. 2020, some people say that, some people say 2020. The fancy people say 2020. Yeah, I say cool. 2020. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> Here we go. So the year 2020 has been pretty crappy for a lot of people, Oh, right? it's been horrible. But good thing yeah. we've had all of these lovely games to play. Yeah. And I think it has been a solid year for I board gaming. I honestly don't think <clears throat> 2020 in all its glory has made the board game world suffer like hardly at all. Yeah, it's... I, I thought it was to be affected a little bit more. Obviously, yeah. there's been delays for like yeah, Kickstarters yeah, yeah. and you know all those kind of logistical yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as far as like designs and stuff that came out, I think they've all been, um, you know, the ones that we played at least have been yep. quite solid. Definitely. On my list, I have about four of the ones we played that were just like immediate. No, there's no way they're gonna make the top yeah. ten. I had seven that I'm like, these are gotta be on the list somewhere. Yeah. And then the whole rest of that, that was the hardest part for me. Yeah. And how many how many 2020 games did we actually play in, in the end? 25. 25. Actually, okay. we'll do something a little bit different here. I'm actually going to give you guys all good. 25 games that we That's played good. in 2020. I think 25 is a pretty <clears throat> respectable number. It's I not think as so. much as maybe, you know, the folks at Dice Tower proper. Well, but, you uh, know what? You know. You know what? I think we, I think we did pretty good. I think so, too. <laughs> so and I'm going to for... give you the, the quick list here. On Mars, Oceans, Vi Viscounts, Search for Planet X, Sorcerer City, Pan Am, Castles of Tuscany, Moonrakers, Truffle Shuffle, Traintopia, Top Gun, Strategy Game, Raiders of Scythia, Mariposas, Santa Monica, Fort Takenu, Calico, Tidal Blades, My City, New York Zoo, The Crew, English release, Smartphone <laughs> Inc., U.S. release, Hall of the Mountain King, oh, so Clinic many. Deluxe, which oh, is the actual only official U.S. release, mm -hmm. and Isle of Cats, which I think was like the last week of December. But Was it? Okay. I mean, by the time we had done our 2019 list, there was no way that we were getting this played. Yeah. So I'm considering that a 2020 game. Sure. I think people will probably maybe be back and forth on that one. Yeah, totally, that's totally. Doing. Um, so 25 <laughs> games is pretty good when you have yeah. four kids and I it's the so. middle of a pandemic. And that's a pretty... And you're basically only gaming with your spouse. Yeah, right, <laughs> so. right. That was, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I, I think the top five I shuffled around a couple of times as well. Definitely. That, that top five was pretty hard. I, I, I was in the kitchen and I had my whole list out and I yelled across the house. I'm like, I, t I feel really confident my list, I'm done. Because we, we went to separate rooms to like make these lists come together and right. then like two minutes later I'm sitting there eating cereal and I'm like no 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 where's my I list know. I gotta switch a some couple stuff of around. times as I'm like clicking stuff around I'm like no no this is hard <laughs> this is not we can't do this so <laughs> there wasn't like yet. any like super super standouts for me but all of them were very close I will say relative to each other my number one didn't even think twice about oh really it. It I didn't just, have one of those this it year it came to me in a vision and I was like y'all that's did not the have one. one of those this year oh, that stinks all right guys you. so you know the 25 games that we've played which ones made our top 10? Maybe you can decide, mm. or you, maybe you can guess, I should yeah. say, along with it. And uh, here we go with a number 10. All right, we're starting off with number 10, the lowest of the list, but I'm telling you, good stuff. Yeah. Mine, New York Zoo. Ah, I thought mm. this one would be a little bit higher on your list, actually, because you watched it a lot. <sighs> I did. I it's did. It's a super cute game. But it's, it's, I mean, I generally like heavier games. Mm -hmm. And so some of these lighter games are going to fall a little bit lower on my list in general. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Um, it's definitely not like my favorite polyamino game, but I love polyamino games. He does. Games. And you're oh, very good at them. So good. Sweetheart. So New York Zoo is kind of, gets to feel a little bit of Baron Park just because of the polyaminos and the animals and stuff, but they are two different games. Yeah. So you're acquiring these polyaminos and am animals as you're walking, as you're Aminals. moving, moving your elephant <laughs> around the board, and you're placing them. First person to place everything wins. It's it's basically a race. Yep. But as you play stuff out and fill in your pens with animals, then you get amusement parks that help you fill in some of those extra yep. gaps. Uh, the earlier you do it, the bigger the amusement parks are. Yeah. You can breed animals and they multiply. You can move animals around. So if you have four in a pen, you can actually kind of move them from one pen to another mm -hmm. with certain actions. And then you have two and two. So now you can like multiply. You can when you um, when you do the reproduction, you can do multiples. The breed. And stuff. The breeding, Action. right? And Same thing. just lots of extra little strategies. As I was playing halfway mm -hmm. through the game, I'm like, 
Yeah, this is good. I thought that was really cool, this too, when you put land down or, like, a pen. You can actually, like you were already saying, is move two animals from another pen into that one. Yeah. So if you don't have, some like, an animal on reserve, <clears throat> you can just shift them around on the board. I thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. And our we played with our seven-year... How the heck old is Jack? Eight. He's eight now. <laughs> we played but with our eight-year-old. He picked it up. He didn't win, no, you know, but, but uh, he, he could be pretty competitive. Yeah, so. that was an, that's I think adorable it's, I think game. it's going to fit as a pretty good family, maybe a family plus game. Yeah. Also, I did want to say, too, because you were mentioning that you get an amusement park to fill in the spot. Yes. But there's actually only two... This I'm just being picky right now. Two roller coaster tiles, and the rest are, like, well, one food of them's eight, places. Well, no, one of them's eight. Oh, sure. Yeah, there's Popcorn one of them's eight, one of them's six. So it's not really amusement parks. It's attractions, I think. Yeah, called. attractions. Yeah. That's the word. I knew it was going to come. Your um, number 10, Ellen. I'm dying to know. My number 10 is Search for Planet X. Oh, it did make your list. It made my list. And I was oh. surprised that it did because I don't like deduction. And this is the purest say, form uh, of deduction. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. It's it's process of elimination. Feels, kind of a Sudoku kind of a feel almost. It does feel kind of like, uh, mathy maybe isn't the right word, but super duper calculate -y. Almost You're like, like, like if this is here, then this is here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. But it's cool because you can play alongside with an app. And based on what you want to do on your turn, you can like click like punch in what you want to do, and that will give you information that you can then add to your pad. And you're constantly collecting information as everyone goes around to find Planet X. Yeah. But the win condition is not just that you find the planet itself, but you have to know the two surrounding so things. You can't just like stab guess at things. Yeah, you know? exactly. And playing the advanced board is definitely the recommended way. Mm. Play the, the beginner board at the beginning, obviously, but yeah. the advanced board where it really shines. Less luck involved because you mm -hmm. can get some pretty lucky draws on the basic one. Right. There is some luck in general with what you pick, but much more mitigated in the advanced game. Yeah, it's just a fantastic game. Um, Good I've, choice. Thank you. I've, we've played it twice, and I I loved it both times. Well, the first time I was a little bit like, wait, what? Yeah, I played it a few times What? Now, but yeah. yeah <laughs> so good. good yeah, that's my number 10, y'all. All right. Onward and upward to number nine. It is Santa Monica. Oh, mm. I love that one. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty high on your I list. I love that one. Spoiler alert, I think it's going to be pretty high. <laughs> I don't know your whole list, but I I know, I know it's on there, and I just don't know where. Maybe it's on there, maybe it's not. You'll never this know. This one is you super fun, and one of the, the biggest answer. reasons it's on the top ten list. Why? It's not like, I mean, I like the game a lot, mm -hmm. but it's not like maybe my most enjoyed game as far as like gameplay mm. goes but the total package is what really makes this hit my list <sighs> so good it is so like cute really <laughs> all the cards that come out you did with say all, cute a I lot know, during the I game know. i was like okay. with all the cards it's <laughs> such it's a complete boardwalk beach feel oh, like man. you know in the u.s pretty much every ocean side resort mm -hmm. area is is fairly similar it has like the names. It has like all the little souvenir shops, mm -hmm. the five dollar t shirt shops, yeah. and the the restaurants and stuff. But it has like some locals. It has some visitors, and the locals, um, they're like sometimes like the local shops. They want to make sure there's nothing touristy around. Yeah, it it's a clever as you're like collecting game. these things. So you're collecting. You're basically making a beachfront and a boardwalk, and there's different ways of scoring based off the cards. And it'll say, well, you score for things around this. You score for your VIP visiting these certain <laughs> tag locations. You get points for this like little beach volleyball area if yeah. people are there at the end of the game. So it is, it's just so clever, and it's so silky yeah. smooth. It plays really well. <clears throat> it definitely is. I thought it was super cute, plus the little meeples with like their little yeah, cameras. Little the tourists have a like, camera the on them. <laughs> I was like, this is <laughs> Like every card that came out, we spent a solid like 30 to 40 yeah. seconds just looking at all the art and like taking it in, it was just—it's just a clever and adorable yeah, that, game. It's super cute. There's super a ton cool. of ways to score in that too. It's not super heavy, but there's a, a lot ton. to it, and like yeah. maximizing things <laughs> takes a little bit of work. Absolutely. All right, my number nine is—I forgot what it was called—New York Zoo. <laughs> Oh, New York Zoo. Yeah, really? I know. Dang, I'm surprised at your I list know. so far. You are surprised. I'm wondering why New you're York so Zoo. surprised. Because you don't like really polyamino games either. I. <laughs> What is up with this list? You know what? I'm blaming it on 2020. Right. It's a weird year. It's, it's a weird a, list. It's, you know, bizarro, it bizarro is. list. Maybe I'm just here. opening my heart more. Um, right, it's a polyamino game, Excellent. which I'm terrible at. Um, but that one, this one is so unintimidating. It's so basic. It's so straightforward. The facts, like we were saying before, you can, once placing a pen, move animals from there to there. Yep. That helps you to pump out um, tiles faster so you can fill up your board really quick. It just has a really good flow to it. 
it's fun to look ahead um, to what's about to breed so you can purposely plan on what animals you're going to be putting in your pet. I just think it's yeah. so clever. Yep. I, I picture myself playing it often. And honestly, one more thing. I feel like it could beat out Baron Park for me. Oh, for yeah, I, think it, sure. I think it beats out Baron Park. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't played it with the expansion, the Baron Park expansion. But the other thing is, like, you can, you're doing stuff on your turn, yeah. on other people's turns a lot. Yes. Because when that reproduction oh, phase yes. comes on, then everybody can, can do that action. So, so as good. people are kind of going along, and those things happen a lot. There's, mm -hmm. what, five animals? Five animals. And they're, like, all over the board as you're kind of going around yeah, in five. this little round circle. Mm -hmm. So you're always kind of having to be somewhat into the game of that's going. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I got to breed, too. I got to breed, too. Yep. Yeah. So I and it's love it. <laughs> one last thing, because I like this game. Yeah, I know. I was going to say something, too, and I'm like, I got to keep this the short. The polyominoes so are, are, like... Pretty polyomino y. They They're are. They're not just like regular Tetris pieces that this are kind of like, oh, these just always Tetris. fit. They have like a lot more shapes. And I appreciate that in a polyomino game, it takes a little bit more spatial awareness to yeah. kind of fit stuff perfectly. Spatial like awareness is mm -hmm. so cute. That's a good game. <laughs> Moving on to number eight. Mine is Sorcerer City. Okay. Yeah, it was going to make the list somewhere. For uh, you, I definitely knew it yeah, would. Yep. Yeah, real-time yep. greatness. I, mm -hmm. I love real-time games. You're kind of, you're, so this one has a whole bunch of tiles, and you have like four districts, I think they're called, mm -hmm. and they're different colors. And what you're trying to do is basically get groups of colors or lines of colors, just depending on the scoring tile of the of that tile that yeah. you happen to be placing. So there'll be ones that are like, oh, your longest, like, you know, line. One of them would be like, um, or like, like, your longest snake, you know? Mm, yep. Otherwise, it'll be like a straight line, Snakes. you know, horizontal or vertical or, you know, different ways of scoring. And you pull them off one by one and you have to place them in your city. But on top of that, you're going to start getting monsters. And these monsters have different effects. Like, you'll put one out and then you have to, like, get rid of something. Or you'll have to, like, cover something. And now your chain is broken. Right. And then there'll be other monsters and things that you can do that kind of, like, kill a monster that is devastating when you finally like ramp up and you're in your little city is looking amazing that also the monster comes out and completely breaks off like yeah. a chunk that you and, you're, <laughs> like, and it's real time so heck? you have is it a timer or is there an app with this one i can't remember yeah there is an app otherwise okay. you, there's a timer as yeah. well but yeah the app the app is great because yeah, there's like the difficulty levels too basically it's just how much time it gives you yep. Super neat stuff, and then you have like a buying phase. You can purchase more tiles into mm, your deck. Yeah. And once you get towards the end of the game, because you're gonna do this over a few rounds. I don't remember how many exactly, but I would number know. of rounds. And you probably aren't gonna get through your entire stack at mm -hmm. some point in the game because you're gonna have a big old stack. Yeah. So a at that one. point, you don't want to be like too big because then you're not getting like the really high scoring tiles or like the combos because you can combo these scoring tiles a lot too. Like mm -hmm. you can double them up and things. This one. This one's really good. It's a cool game. It's a cool game. Uh, my number eight is My City. Oh. I am what? shocking the world right now. Two polyomino games. It's insane. And here's, and you know what? This is the crazy <sighs> part. I don't like Dang. polyomino. Well, I'm terrible. I don't not like it. I like it. It feels puzzle and sure. relaxing, but I'm terrible at it. And then also, My City is a legacy game. Yeah. I don't do legacy you games, don't do right? Legacy when games I sit down and play a game, I want it to be done when it's done. <laughs> but um, I because I don't I don't like that hanging over your head of like yeah. you're not done yet. You got to play twenty more times. Yeah. It's like oh my gosh, um, but it is so fast. You can get you can pump a game out. Yeah, that's cool. In like I swear, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, the box like is two thirty minutes, game. and it's everybody's playing at the same time. Mm -hmm. So like. You know, there is a little bit probably of time just because there's more people at the table thinking and whatnot. Sure. But it generally is going to take about the same amount of time, whatever your player counts. Yeah. I appreciate that in games. It's, you flip sure. a card, it tells you a piece to pick up, you Everybody put it in your pieces. city, yep. and you're trying to, like, you know, avoid the trees. You you don't want to cover trees, you'll get points for those, right. and you want to cover boulders, so you'll be looking for those, and then you get points per colors touching. It's just, yeah, it's so, so it's, fast. It's 24 episodes over eight chapters. Mm -hmm. They recommend playing like one chapter per sitting. So yeah. basically three games, which is what 90, they say no, roughly 90 minutes. I think you could probably get it done in 70, oh, for 75 sure. minutes. And they progress as you go along. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a slow burn early on. Sure, sure. It's kind of somewhat repetitive for the yeah. first number, but then, you know, I don't want to spoil anything obviously, but yeah, you get careful. stuff, changes the rules, some things might get added. Whoa, but wait, uh, obviously it's a legacy yeah, game, so you're you know you're assuming that something's gonna get added. Right. This is a solid one. It's solid just one. fun. It's fun. I was surprised mm -hmm. that it that it was on my list too, but there you have it, folks. Already. Moving on to 
moving right along. We are at number seven. Mm -hmm. My number seven, I thought was going to be a little bit higher on my list, but it kind of just ended up falling down here a little bit farther than I thought it would. Because there were so many other good ones yeah, shoving yeah, it out of the much, way. Pretty much. This is on Mars. Okay, I actually have not played this one. Yeah, so this anything is anything you're going to say. This here, is a pretty heavy game. Call me out. And so that would generally go up to my list. That's true. Pretty quickly already. But I didn't like love it like as much as I thought I was. So maybe maybe that's kind of why it, it's not quite as high on my list. Okay. I, I really, really like the game. Don't get me wrong. That's why it's number seven. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. A lot of, you know, you're building on Mars. You have like your little section and you're kind of building together and you're putting out your rover and putting out these little hexes. And then you have to, like, make these missions, not missions, but, like, you're traveling, like, back and forth. Okay. And depending on where you are, whether you're on the left side of the board or the right side of the board, you have, like, different actions that are available to you. And it's just really clever how it's done. It's mm. pretty thematic. Okay. Um, I, I'm really quite a fan of this I one. actually heard it was very heavy. Like, is it? Like, it's a slow burn, I guess? Like, you're There's just, a, like, little increments? It's a really heavy learn, for sure. Okay. The game itself, once you've played it kind of all the way through, it's definitely heavy. There's no question yeah. about it. Okay. But I didn't find it, like, really hard to understand or really hard to play okay. or, you know, I, to get I really good at it. I remember seeing it set up at a convention and the board looked really Yeah, it's sprawling. It's massive. a sprawling game. I was just like, I'm going to go looks play Looks really nice. Uno. Components are really nice. You have your own little <laughs> player boards. You can do, like, some upgrading and stuff. All the great things of a good Euro game mm -hmm. in this one. I even like the theme with the on Mars thing. Cool. Not quite as high as I thought it was going to be at the towards the beginning of the year, but uh, it's it's well, solidly, surprise, surprise. solidly. And I feel list. like you might be surprised at my number seven. And what is that? Well, great segue. Well, <laughs> it's uh, actually smartphone. Oh, yeah. Hey, I am I am literally so surprised at your list so far. I I'm know. Genuinely, it, this like, is not just for camera. This. I am genuinely surprised. I can tell as you are. I can <laughs> sense the, the fluctuations in your. Oh, well, you know me pretty well. I do. Um, okay, when we opened it, it looks like you are opening a new phone from Verizon or something. And it looks like, you know, here's your how to use. Yeah. It just looks kind cool. of, to me, that looked boring. I'm like, I don't like, I'm not tech savvy. I'm not like, it, yeah. to him, he's like, this is amazing. It looks like I'm reading like, you know, information on a <laughs> yeah, phone. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. The gameplay itself is just so satisfying. You have all these different regions that you can go to and you need to get like, <sighs> I'm having a hard time figuring out how to say this. Okay. You get your little people out there, and well, yeah, by where you right. go, you can then uh, put like up your buildings get, and things. Yeah. Yes, your buildings, and you can yeah. like get services in There's those different regions. There's a CEO as well, also that kind of can that go he around. floats around and does stuff too. But yeah, so you're you're trying to get into these regions, right? <laughs> I can't and then say words. You can only sell a certain amount of phones. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, whoever sells a phone for cheaper, because you can kind of price your phones. They get to sell first. Yes. Because people are obviously they're going to buy the cheaper phone if it has the all the same cheap features skates. that they want. Jeez. But you can kind of specialize as you upgrade things and then really kind of fill in those extra slots. Mm. So it's a balance of selling a bunch of phones for like yeah. cheap or, you know, not quite as many phones for a little bit more money. Yeah. It's a great balance. These little like you're configuring, configuring. See, this is a hard game, man. These tiles so that um, you have to like overlap things and whatever is showing is essentially what you get mm -hmm. for the round. And that's cool because they look like little tablets. They yeah. look like little. Yeah, they're like little phone tablet. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. So like every round, it's like you get a screen a and you're choosing what you're going to do. And... Pretty good choice. Wink, Thank wink. you. Wink, Thank wink. you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We arrive at number six, which is the top one of the bottom five. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a really good point. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, mine is Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun. Six? Yeah. What? Sun, I thought you were going to be way up higher on oh, really? Yeah, yeah, you loved that one. I really did like it. I really did like it. Are you sure like this it. is what you want to do? Are you okay, sure? We're getting into the territory here where like I shuffle things around quite a few times. Okay. So right. tell the people why you loved it. Ask me tomorrow. It could be maybe it's number one tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> could change your minds in five minutes. Uh, it fell into number six, at least for now. Okay. okay. This is this is great. This is kind of on the same bloodline as uh, Teotihuacan, but they're they are definitely completely different games. Absolutely. As far as I go. The, this one doesn't make me cry. I like this one a lot because <laughs> you see all the dice out, mm -hmm. but there are three levels for these dice. There are the, um, I think they're blessed, 
tainted. I can't yeah. remember what the white ones are offhand. Pure. Plus, pure. Pure. That's right. Pure, tainted, and um, forbidden. Yeah. And so anything that's in that forbidden line, yeah. you can't grab. But the obelisk like casts this shadow thing. That's how the mechanic, the main mechanic so works. Cool. So it has there's yeah. a it's a grid of six. There's two lights, two shaded, and two dark. Yeah. And depending on where the dice are on the obelisk, because that obelisk can turn, the dice fall into a certain ring around the obelisk. So this turn, it might be you know a bless or a pure dice. Mm -hmm. Next one, it might be you know a, sh a shaded dice or something or yeah. the, the um, tainted dice. And so you're kind of somewhat planning ahead to go. I really want to have that dice because mm -hmm. I know that tur that next turn is going to be available. And as you're taking these dice. The um, tainted and the pure dice, you have to put this on, on the scale. And you kind of have to take the same pip value dice of these of these scales. Every two turns, obelisk moves. Every four turns, then you kind of evaluate this thing. If you have too Score. much going to the tainted side, which are generally are more tainted dice, then you're going to start getting negative points if you start taking too many of those. There's Which like six main actions on here. There's lots of things that are kind of working together. Yeah. You can get like, you, you can upgrade heavy? stuff. You can do produ upgrade production. This is pretty heavy. I think this it's a heavy, heavy game for sure. So many great things it's in this. Really good. So many of my favorite kind of mechanics in a, in a um, Euro game. This one's at six, but man, I don't know. It's just one of those things. It could be, it could easily be I'm surprised. higher. Surprised. I'm surprised at you. All right. Uh, my number six is Viscounts. Of, the, of West the West King. Kingdom, which Excellent. is the third one in the trilogy. Is that correct? Yes. And do, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Did we play with the expansion? There's no expansion for Vikings. There's no, okay. I was no. like, mm, <laughs> sorry. It just, it literally yeah, I, it came up So we recently. didn't play with the expansion then. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I think we have expansions for like a lot of them. Because we have like yeah. Raiders of the North Sea and then all of those too. I couldn't yeah, because that's the other expansion. The it's series. really clever. It's thinky. You're moving around this castle on this map trying to like collect ink so that you can get them in for scrolls yep. scrolls get you points it's very point salad i feel yeah, um, you can kind of shift on. gears of what your strategy is mid game and i don't think it hurt too much you don't want there, actually it's really cool there's like a little castle in the middle yeah which is such a cute unique little mechanic how you put your meeples up on it and once you get three of your color on there, you can actually bump one up then. You kind of like bump, yep. bump, bump, like yep. pop each other up on the castle. And it's like a rondelle. You can only go in yes. one direction. But there's like an inner and an outer track that you can kind of weave around. Traveling and the range. inner stuff, you, there's like two different like main actions you can do on the inner ring. And there's like two different main actions you can do yep. on the outer ring. So depending on where you go, you're kind of adjacent to these things. And you can turn certain yep. things in to do certain actions. Lots of goodness. It's, it's it's hard really to cram good. all the different rules basically in this small of a thing. So I encourage you to check out Viscounts. Yes, this one is really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not on my list yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've gotten to the top five. These are the great games. The great, the greats of 2020. <laughs> or they're about the same as my six. <laughs> <laughs> or you literally can't I'm telling decide. you, I'm serious. Like my top five probably could be interchanged. He was, I was hearing, come on, from the yeah, computer. I was. I was literally like going, what? <laughs> For like 15 minutes. No, he not that decide. game's going to go there. No, I can't. I can't put two. Had yeah. a good 2020 anyway, game, yo. This one is In the Hall of the Mountain King. Which I have not played. So I... Can't tell you if it's was, a stupid choice or not. I haven't played it for a while because we don't own it, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna have to buy it. Yeah, I've, I played it before. I played a prototype, an early, not an early prototype, pretty late prototype, and mm. I played it like a time or two after that as well. And I didn't even know that. Refreshing this list and looking back at it, I'm like, out. this is so good. Why don't I own this? I like forgot about it. I don't know. It's would weird. I love this game? Yeah, I think you would. I think you would. Why anyway, don't we, oh, it's got some polyaminos to later. it, which is great. Oh my gosh, this is the year of the polyaminos. <laughs> but this is like, so you have this big map, and everybody's kind of building into this thing, and you're trying to get somewhat to the center, because mm. you're trying to put pedestals out as you're digging through. Well, as you're digging through these tunnels, that's what your polyaminos are. And they have to obviously kind of connect cool. to each other as you're going through. As you're going along, you can pick up resources as you dig through certain sections. You'll get, like, harder rubble, which is harder to break through, so you need, like, these hammers. And if you connect to workshops and they have ways of, like, turning one resource into another resource, hmm. lots of good things there. But one of the best things about this is this cascading um, resource production thing. I so like they're, they're trolls. Things. So you can draft these trolls from, like, a little area, and you put them on your board, 
and you start with four spaces. And as you kind of cascade up into a pyramid, if you activate like the top one, everything below that that's chained also produces. Wow. Yeah. So like at the beginning, you're only producing kind of individuals. So then you're like unique. a pot of three. If you build the entire pyramid, one production like activates like everything. Oh, that's so cool. So Does it cool. recharge right away once you? It's like you have to like take that action and in, in, oh. in that. But yeah, it's it's super cool how I it would works. like to try one that. You need things. to get yeah, that this for one's me, super please. Neat. This one's super neat. Definitely um, check this one out. I don't. I've never really heard anybody quite talking about it. I literally didn't know what it was until you're like you put it on our list of like games to choose from 2020. I'm like, great, what though. the heck is that? Get it. All right, my number five is Sun. The Monaco, Monica. Okay, I always think of Monaco. I always think I of the racing. I going to say Santa Maria. Like, Santa what? Maria. I almost did for a second, too. I always Santa said Monica. about five right. different things. We already kind of talked about this it, so I don't need to go into detail. a little bit lower on your list than I thought it would be. Yeah, you know what? I truly love it. was to the point. I loved it so much, I, like, posted about it, and I'm like, I just want to be at the beach. Like, the fields are it's so, so cool. thematic. Yeah. It's so thematic. Uh, all the way down to like the art on the cards, the names of the shops, and, and how they score, like not being nexus things. Oh, like it's in just that. so yeah. good. There's even like one card where there's a shark, and so you don't want people around yeah, it. So like, you, you want, really want to like <laughs> put it out, out of the way where all your people are. Yeah. And then the one thing I loved about it was at the end, I'm like, I'm I'm going to have so many negative points because I can't get all my people to the spaces they need to be at. But actually, you get like one last movement, and depending on the color, you get to move like a certain amount. Yep. So at the end, all of a sudden, everybody filled up their spaces and like. Yeah, I don't know if kind I, of like a big push. I don't think as long I as you won, get pretty close and like you get that automatic it was, movement. It, I, cool. it was a joy to play. Yeah, it was a really joy good. to play. It was definitely really good. AG, I'll tell you right now, AG come on, hit it come out, on. The, out to park out this year. The park. There was at least three I'll that I had it. consideration from AEG on this list this year. Dang. Dang. All right, guys, number four. And this is not a coincidence. My number four is. Fort. <laughs> I love that one. I just thought of that. So like said, I'm like, wait, Fort, Fort. You did seem very like surprised at yourself there. I was really surprised by this one. This one's so good. It's it's not like super meaty, but like the mechanics. But for in what it, it is, the mechanics it was way more game than I thought was going to be yes. in there. Part of the reason why I it just surprised me so much. Mm. Good. What? It's good. I like it a lot. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This so as you're playing these cards, you only He's play speechless. one card. And it has to do with like you have these different suits. And as you play a card, these cards can get like multiplied by having more suits. So more skateboards or mm -hmm. glue or <laughs> squirt guns. These are like the different suits so in the game. So stinking yeah, cute. It's it's all about getting pizza, toys, making forts, and making best friends. That's all yeah. That's, that's just that's, that's the theme it's of just it. It's a really cool theme and it's done really well as far as that goes. If you play only one card on your turn of five cards in your hand, but you can put like these support cards under it mm -hmm. if it has to a multiplier. Use, like, the tags or if, right, if it has a multiplier on the card to basically add tags to that card. Mm -hmm. So you can have a you know a certain amount of things in your stuff. You have like a backpack and then you have to raise your fort level. Mm. All really cool stuff. What's really neat though is after you play what whatever say. cards, you, it's so clever. you discard those cards and anything left in your hand that's not your best friend. You put out in front of you into the yard, and now that is a car that somebody else can take from you on their turn. So good. And you say, you oh, jeez, what? What? You know, you're <gasps> taking my card. Gee whiz, man. Sometimes you're, like, playing a car that you can't quite play yet just so you can keep it because you yeah. really need to keep it That's in your so deck. That's so clever. I actually don't know another game that does that. That's Can cool. I just tell you guys really quick? My number four is also Fort. Is it really? It is. Oh, excellent. It's so cute. Okay, <laughs> when I played this game, it made it brought me back to being a kid. I'm like, man, I just want pizza and my best friends, and yep. I want to build forts. It makes you like think about that, and it's so well done, and it's the beautiful production. I love the cards. I the art, like, it's so weird. It's another 2020 surprise. It doesn't look like my typical art that I love. Yeah. But it's just so cute. And yeah, then the boards are like inlaid and you get these tiny little wood. Boards are super nice. They're double layered and they're super thick and they haven't warped like at all. No. And then you get these little like pegs in there that's marking how many toys or pizza you have to be able to like do stuff. Little hexagonal and things. And there's little pictures. These tiny pictures a of tiny this pizza. Picture. <laughs> and like a tiny picture of a skateboard yeah. and a little glue. Yeah, theme wise, this game is great. Can and you then just that, go check it that out, please? Mechanic where you're like kind of taking cards from me. And thematically, they said, well, if you don't play with your friends, then maybe they'll go somewhere else and play. That's yeah. like the theme of that. <laughs> I it was it's so cute. true. I love it. Except for your best friend will never leave you. That's why they stay in your deck. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So cute. This one's good. Oh, you can even have like permanent stuff on the side. So it like works every turn. Oh, it's good. We love it. <laughs> We 
are in to the top three. We've cracked it. It's here. It's ready. It's one we've talked about. It's Smartphone Inc. Oh. Yeah. Well, so we, we generally talked about it quite a bit. Yeah. But I wanted to expand oh, on the technologies on the bottom. Thank you, because I did a really bad job <laughs> explaining. I forgot. So I the technologies, you can build towards technologies, which is cool. And you can also build towards you know, it, increasing your infrastructure. So that's part of when you get these certain tiles, when you're flipping those tablets around, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can put these little like progress tokens on them. And once you finish them, you get that technology. Now your phone has, you know, LTE, 4G or something. And yes, it's not 5G. They didn't upgrade it for the, oh, game, yeah, that for was the like US release. But yeah. anyway, it's 4G. It's, um, gosh, it's got like, you know, game, you know, game pad type thing. It's got all these different, um, um, ways of scoring those also not scoring them but there's different um tiles so like as they come out they give you a different benefit okay that's what i'm trying to get this to. is really hard to explain i know i was trying to get to a, get to a different benefit so there's all sorts of things you can tap in there Golly. expansion for it's pretty neat as well it kind of oh, more or less i think comes with it now hmm. and okay. you're, you're going in there and then that's how you expand and, and sell you're able to sell more phones to these different areas it also has this two-player board with the uh, oh, the yeah. new edition so, because it did not play well at two before. It was the board nope. was just too big. Yeah, but it is a viable play at two now, especially when you when definitely you add definitely in that board. I, uh, this one's it's, really a, good. it's a really good game. This is um, really good. Okay, so my number we're we in three. Uh, three we is Tech New. Uh, <laughs> I Why? will say okay. Why? I, I know. <laughs> I knew because I was not. Very happy yeah. while we were playing. I was yeah. I was legit ticked. But I was able to step back after and be like, okay, that was really cool. Yeah, and I see where I made my game. mistakes. It's rare that after I play a game, I'm just thinking so much about like what I could have done different. I, I usually when I'm game. done, I'm like, yeah, That's I vibed it game. great, love it, I'll play it again someday. But this one I was like actively doing turns in my head a day later. We already kind of talked about yeah. it, but uh, I really did like one thing I thought was really cool is when you were gonna start a new round, you put I forget what the cards are called, but they have the little symbols on them. And it's like... Oh, the Ankh? The Ankh cards, yeah. yeah. So you pick it, you get it like a special ability for that round. And then if your number is higher or lower, depending, then you get like first place. I think it's first place. Well, it's like, like breaks tiebreakers, yeah. Okay. So like okay. it's Because you're going to have a lot of ties on that little um, yep. track that's your balance track. Yeah. Yes. So I thought that was really cool, just being able to like pick a new special ability yeah. per round and whatever. It's There's just... like... And each little section is like its own little thing. There's like that yeah. happiness tracker... So Which I did and it's got a at. population and happiness. So your population, happy. your happiness can't go past your population. So mm -hmm. you have to kind of like incrementally, um, you know, increase. Them yeah, and the getting board. those up get like gets you cards that you can use like during the game. So it's really powerful. But I totally neglected it. Yeah, it'll give you like access totally, to more cards uh, at the bottom, and the higher those ranks are, the more like end game scoring cards come out for you that you can choose didn't from. Didn't I win this? And the technologies and stuff. Didn't I win this game? Did you know? Did you? Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> That's I right. won. You won by like ten points or so. Yeah, yeah. This is. Whoa! This is, I right. like it even more. It. Now that it's my number it. one yeah. game. Number one. Yeah, I forgot right. that I won, and I was ticked. Yeah. See, that's how much I liked yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. this one's really. I'm good. a sore loser. Really right, like back off. <laughs> All right, guys. Moving on to number two. This one's also been said before. It is the search for planet. X. Oh, you love this one. I just love deduction games so much. He does. Much. You're so deductive. And to deducty. have a deduction game that you enjoy as well, yes. We are a happy couple yes. this year. <laughs> it's really, I just love that it's like kind of straight, pure deduction. I kind of mentioned it feels a little bit like Sudoku because it's a lot of like cancellation. Now, obviously, Sudoku is basically yeah. deduction, and that's kind of how the mechanic works, I understand. But it just gives me that feeling of like, okay, well, if this is here, then this can't be here yeah. by process of elimination and that. And as you're kind of moving these things around, and then you get like these special scoring rules, which you touched on before. You'll you'll program you'll put it into the phone, and it'll give you some kind of special thing for that game. It'll say, well, comments are or comments are within X number of spaces of asteroids. Um, it'll have like these various like rules <laughs> per game that are different. It also has like the base set of rules, mm. so it's it's always like you know there's a certain amount of these, there's a certain amount of these things, and so that's cool. But then then there's like a conference that happens at one point, and everybody gets the same information. Really, really solid deduction it's very game. Very solid. I am so glad it came out. I love deduction games. It's one that you play. Yep. It makes me even happier. Oh, you know what? That's sweet. <laughs> 
I think he has a crush I on like me. Playing games, I think girl. the guy likes me. <laughs> All right, uh, my number two is, and I Were don't you think this. Checking? Was, was, that oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, I don't. I have no idea. Okay, I don't think this is gonna make your list. I guess. Okay. It is Moonrakers. 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 I. Is it gonna be game. number one? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Not for you. <laughs> um, it is a negotiation type game. Yeah. You have a spaceship. And there's, there's a couple of main boards, and what you're doing is you're choosing a contract. You bring that contract to the middle, and you, you decide if you would like other people to come on this mission with you to try to win the contract. But in doing so, you need to negotiate who's getting what. Like, hey, I'll come in with you and try to beat that card because I have these cards. I can help you win, but I get one of those prestige, which is a point. And the cool thing is... You're only getting to 10 points. That's it. You're just right. getting 10 points. The first one there wins. It's like a race. But you can kind of go negative on the points you, as well. Yes. So it, oh, along man. with those those missions, you have to roll like these danger dice. So and you can block danger dice if you get like a certain amount of hits with them with sure. shields. But if you don't, you go back down. Yeah. And it is kind of that, you know, they're really high up. They're like, well, we definitely don't want to take him on this mission. Mm -hmm. But sometimes mm -hmm. you're like... You really want to get this what mission you have. done. Yeah. I need your help. And I, for and you this. know what? That to me showed me that I, I really enjoy negotiation yeah. games. I didn't even know until I played that. I think that but was it's like deck the first building. one. It's deck building. It's the primary mechanic. I'm sorry. Mechanic, yes, it okay? is. It is. It is. But I <laughs> think that's what's so cool about it. Yeah, negotiation is a major part of it, but it's it not is. like the main mechanic. No. Deck building is the main mechanic. Yeah. And as you're playing cards, you have to have like these reactor cards to be able to play even more cards. Exactly. You don't just play the five cards in front of you. Nope. And some cards like. To, uh, put more cards in your hand, yep. and you're, it's kind of this like you so kind of build of, up your You're not going to be able to do too. these big ones because you just flat out aren't going to have enough cards to mm -hmm, necessarily mm -hmm. play them. But it is cool because you can hire crew into your deck, and you can hire parts onto your spaceship. Honestly, and those guys, help you. This one is really dang good. <gasps> I will spoil that it did not make my list, but it was how? it was super high up there. I like the how? negotiation. I just I like to be more in control of my ultimate fate. And this one is a little bit of a, it's not a king making situation, but it's, <laughs> it is kind of so like much. that, you know, everybody's kind of like, well, they're kind of leaving you out somewhat because they don't oh, want sure. you to win if you're higher. Which I when you're Randy, it happens. It's not a problem with the game whatsoever. I think no. that's one of the cool parts about it, but it's not like my favorite hear you. thing about it. And that's why it did not make the top 10. Okay. All right. I'm a little sad. But, but it's really good and you should play it. Go check it out. It's so fun. <laughs> this is good. Thank you guys for sticking around until we get to our number one. Or if you skipped, you know, <laughs> You might ten, not have cared at all. If you skipped two through ten or three through ten or whatever, <laughs> that's okay too. You don't, it's fine. That's okay it's too. I Sometimes you fine. just want to know fine. what the best is. The best of the best. Well, I'm going to tell you what my best of the best is. My number one, Ellen mentioned it before, it is oh. Viscounts of the West Kingdom. I should have known. I don't know, man. Everything that Shem Phillips has been putting out... That guy's killing it. ...and Garfield Games killing is been it. And I, I love. I really, yeah. really enjoy it. Raiders of Scythia didn't make the list because it's kind of more of a re-implement of North Sea. Sure. I'm classifying it as a possibility, but it was a little bit too similar to Raiders to be considered as, like, the top of this yeah. year. Yeah. So that's kind of why that... I agree with it. that. But Architects, Raiders, Circadians... Oh, Circadian's first light, So many dude. good things. But I'm talking about yeah, Viscounts, which we talked about in pretty good depth before, so yeah. I won't go too much into it. It's really fun. Yeah. You can build out buildings and <laughs> do stuff. Really, it's you just can, fun. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. You get, like, different resources, and then those resources help you do all these different actions. Yeah. There's, like, a little bit of set collection in there. Mm, the castle mechanic is just so the clever. Is like, there's nothing cool. like that. That I know of. Yeah, as you do the castle, so you cool. go up on this thing and you can score points and get resources. Yeah. But as you get too many people in that castle, they split off yep. into other parts of the castle. But cool eventually, thing. if you get so many on there, you like can automatically get almost like to the top, and that's where you get a lot of climbing up, up on there. each other like a that's bunch really of cool. zombies like that's in World War Z. That's super cool. <laughs> I like um, it. Okay, my number one, and you were kind of freaking out because you're like, "What is it?" And yeah, I'm like, "I you're can't saying believe that, it didn't like, make your I, list." I didn't make my list, and I'm like, I'm, "I feel like maybe my list will be invalidated after you say this." No, like, I it, it won't something. because you just told people why it won't. Oh. My number one is Raiders of Scythia. Oh, okay. Okay, can I just tell you a story? Oh, you really like Raiders of the Once North Sea. Once upon as well. a time, I love love Raiders of the North Sea, and I actually got a little bit bored with. It. And yes, we have both expansions. By the way, I I think if I had to choose expansion, I would choose um, 
Hall of Heroes. Yeah, because if has I had to choose, that has like the mead and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I just like that. I like the Jarls on that one, but like <sighs> the Jarls yeah. take me off too much, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I I kind of OD'd on the game because I played the app over and over and over for like sure. two solid weeks. Like I would not. Which stop. doesn't have the expansion. Which does not have the expansion, and I just kind of. Uh, but then all of a sudden here comes Scythia and we played it and I, it was so yummy and right away I wanted to just like play it again. Because it takes all of the best parts of Raiders with its expansions, not all of them, but with with aspects and yeah. clumps it into one game. And I know there's a, a crowd of people out there who are annoyed because they're like, I dropped all this coin on, you know, Raiders and this stuff. I get that. I respect that. All right? I respect that. Yeah. But it's just so darn good, so I don't care. But <laughs> with that, though, you have, I think, the ultimately better experience with with all three. But Scythia is very, like, it feels streamlined compared to those. And it seems to ramp up a little bit quicker yes, as well, which is Yes, you can go nice. raiding, like, almost immediately, yeah, which is so yeah, which is fun. Cool. I mean, because then I you just like, get deeper into the map A lot sooner. of the little aspects that happen, you could almost house rule some of these. Yeah. You know... You get the wounds in Scythia like you do in one so of the expansions cool. in the um, in the Yarl expansion, which I yeah. cannot remember the name of that one. But you get the wounds, but now there's like a space that you Fields can kind of get. Fields of Fame. Fields of Fame. Now you can get rid of wounds by going to a certain space. It's um, just really When you cool. raid, if you get the lowest um, score of some of these areas that you raid in, you actually get additional wounds. So if you don't get to the first threshold of, say, 12 saying. strength... Then you default to the two strength, and then you have like extra. Wounds it also and comes with like eagles and horses too that you can oh, um, that's cool. that's put cool too. on the top of a card or yeah. put underneath the card, and then use that horse or eagle ability depending on what crew member you put. Yeah, just it's that, so that's, good. That's one of the best parts of it. Plus the um, it's so asymmetric good. like heroes that you get like uh, your captains or whatever they're called on the left hand side, and then you could do like that hero ability. Yeah. I, I hope that they do like a little like mini kind of half expansion for mm -hmm. Raiders. So they would, wouldn't mind getting that for Raiders I kind of put that whole it. package together. Yeah. Maybe they'll do it. Maybe I, they and you won't. know what I, I like? Know. I like Raiders of Scythia art too. I like them both, but a Scythia, there's a lot of people like, oh, I don't really like the art. I like the board it's of beautiful. Raiders better, but I definitely like the cards of Scythia. That They're artwork so on those cards cool. is super neat. Super yeah. neat stuff. All right, guys. Thank you fun. for joining us for our top 10 of 2020. We mm -hmm. are so happy. That you uh, were <laughs> that you watched this video, yeah, thanks. And uh, hopefully you found out, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe some useful. new games that you haven't played, or you haven't bought a lot of games in 2020, and maybe these are some good ones to check out for maybe. you. I don't know. Uh, and how did you do? Did you guess any of our top ten? Did you know that some of them were going to be in there for certain reasons? Mm -hmm. Are you wondering why Castles of Tuscany didn't make Ellen's list? <laughs> I, I didn't think it was going to make your list but as far as it that goes. It just didn't, no. But, I love um, you, Feld, but And nah. before we let you go, I'm going to mention just two honorable mentions. I had, um, okay, okay, oh, okay. that is a terrible color. <laughs> it's white on yellow, and it looks, oh, I can't wow. even read it. Honorable mention, I had 11 with Calico, okay. and 12 was Moonrakers. Okay, so, so Moonrakers was in there. That yeah. game brings me such delight. Little pitter patter in my heart when I play it. Going from there, I, I did go out to my 15, so I had Clinic Deluxe, which is a US release. Mariposas was 14, and then 15 was The Crew. Okay. I did like The Crew because I really like trick raking, but. Yep. There Interesting. You got it. And now I gotta get my crappy list here. <laughs> my honorable mentions are Mariposas. Oh. It's really fun. Yeah, I like that one. Cute. Just didn't quite have that extra little oomph to make it in Just the top didn't 10. didn't have it. Yeah. Um, also, Clinic. I like that surprised yeah. me. Um, and then Train Topia. Yeah. Train Topia was lower on my list for we, sure. Okay, I don't like Train I games. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. it. But. I'm not, in, I am just don't. I'm not, so I'm so disinterested in train themes that I typically, that overrides and I end up not liking the game. I like the styling game. and kind of simplicity with a little bit of depth. Yeah. But mm, just not quite, I hear you. quite game enough for me on that top 10. Anyway, guys, you thank you for joining us, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the um, the winter spectacular. The winter spectacular, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Bye bye.